What's up, YouTube? Back again with another little gun video. I got an upgrade for the Micro Draco Buck Buck. It just came in, and I've been wanting to put it on, and I decided why not? Let's go ahead and do it now. Let's make a video on it. So let me go ahead and get it out. As you can see, it's an Avery grip. The Knuckle Buster is what it's called. Let's see if I can get this open for you. There it is right there. Now you can get this for the AK or for an AR-15. I've seen they had them for them too. They're a pretty sweet grip. I ain't never bought them before, but whenever I seen them, I said I got to get them for the damn buck buck. That's what they're going to look like. Ooh, she going to be nasty. Ooh, she going to be nasty. Well, we finna get into it. I'm going to show you how to put it on. We're going to put them on. We're going to install it together. Here we go. First things first, take the mag out. Make sure the gun is safe. Ain't nothing in it. Now, when you go to replace the grip or do something on these AKs, you got to take your cover and everything off. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You push right here, and the cover just pops right off of there. Now, on the inside, you got your recoil spring right here. It just sits inside of a groove right here. Let me get my finger down in there. It sits right there inside of that groove. It's got a wedge right there. Take off your recoil spring. This right here is a buffer block. Your real, your full size AKs don't have these, but these micros have to have them to keep your bolt from slamming all the way back right there. That's just a buffer block is all that is. Keeps your, uh, keeps your bolt from coming back too far because your piston has a gap right there. That's all that's for. Get that out the way. I'll go ahead and remove my bolt. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to. I want y'all to see down in there. That's where the grip screws in. That's the nut that holds the grip in. So we got to take that out right there. That piece will probably fall out. Let me see if I can hold it in place so it don't fall out. There we go. What well, damn screw longer than a work week. There we go. Got that thing out the damn way. There's where your grip's gonna screw into. Well, it fell out anyway. I did all that holding and the damn thing fell out anyway. It'll be all right. I know where it goes. All right, let's get our bolt out. Holds our grip in place. Right here. It's going to be an Allen head. I already got me an Allen head for it. All right, let's flip that back over and get that down in place where it goes. I get on there backwards. I think that's the right way. Where's my sure grip? I got her in there backwards. Hang on. It's all right. We're going to get her figured out. We're doing this all live right here. Get down in there. There we go. Now I got her in there the right way. All right. Seat that grip on there good. Take the new bolt. Drop her down in there. Allen key through the grip and start screwing her in. All right, there we go. I'll put a little piece down here just to make sure you're good and snug. There it is. There's the new grip on Buck Buck. Easy little install right there. I'll go and tell you, it feels amazing. And I think it looks sick as hell. Let's put it all back together. 
take your bolt, start back here at the rear, get it lined up on your tracks, send it home. Don't forget your buffer block. It goes in this way with the slant going to the back and the solid face to the front. Take your spring, run your spring inside, and bend your spring down to get it inside the groove catch right there. Right there. That holds it in place. Now the last step is really the hardest and the most trickiest. I'm gonna try and do this for you right here. I might have to I might have to go on the other side like this to do it for you so you can see. It'd be easier for me to do it this way. Alright, you start. You gotta get your little plunger in there. And then you slide right in between. This is this is hard now. Right there. You get it inside that groove. Now come back here. See that? That has to slide down in front of that right there. It's that easy. You just push it on down in front of it. Sometimes you might have to take your hand right there and pop it in place. But as long as you get it over that lip right there, it'll sit right in place. Give it a few racks. Make sure it runs good. And now you have your brand new Avery Grips installed on your Micro Draco. Or in my case, installed on Buck Buck. Now I know y'all want to see how it looks. And there she goes. I'm not done yet. I still have a few more upgrades that I'm going to do to Buck Buck. So if you ain't subscribed, subscribe. That way you can see the finishing touches I do to it. Right now I'm going to go ahead and put in some of these earplugs. And I'm going to pop it a few times and see how it feels with this new grip on here. The new Avery Knuckle Busters on a Micro Draco. Buck Buck. Pop her off a few times. Let y'all see it one last time. Here we go. Woo! Y'all see it again? Damn, I love Buck Buck. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This little simple install right here. I think it went pretty smooth. Like, subscribe. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.